With us now is Natasha Owens, and you're calling in from Dallas, Texas. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm very excited to speak with you because you are known as a Christian contemporary artist. Yes, How did that come about in your journey? My goodness. You know, I've been born and raised in church, but um, 10 years ago, my dad was cleaning his guns and a bullet went off and hit him in the heart. And he was gone and life as I knew it was gone. And I down spiraled into depression and God pulled me out and I'm doing what I'm doing today because of that story. I love that. What was his first name? Mickey Harlow was his name. Beautiful. And I'm so sorry for your loss. Yes. But you know, I am also a believer. So it's nice that you were able to turn that into a passion and a creativity for you. Yes. Yeah. God saved my life and gave me a second chance. So now I'm just trying to encourage people and let them know that they're not alone and that God loves them. This new song you have come out, tell us about the title. Uh, one more time. I didn't hear you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said the song that you have now. Tell us about the title. Tell us about the whole production of this. So we decided because we had downtime this year to do a Christmas CD. We've, it's been on a bucket list for a while. And uh, the first song that we wrote was called Too Much Christmas. And it came about because we were, we were brainstorming. And I said, you know, this, this year just absolutely sucks. It's terrible. I wish Christmas was already here. And uh, my producer said, you know what? Let's make Christmas come a little bit early. So we did a summer Christmas song that is just so much fun and did a uh, music video that my husband starred in, kind of like a dumb and dumber Christmas vacation type <laughs> vibe. And uh, we, we made it re really fun. Yeah, I got a chance to see it. Uh, Brian, your friend had sent it to me and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like so vibrant and uh, interesting. What was that process like for you? you know, how many days we, were you shooting it? And how did you put it all together? It took about five days. Uh, we went to Nashville. We, we got in contact with Max Hugh. He is just a creative genius. And we got to talking and he said, how about we build like a shagging wagon like from Dumb and Dumber and make it a reindeer mobile? And I said, oh my word. <laughs> it just went into that direction very quickly. And so he said, do you know somebody who can be really funny on camera? And I said, I know just the guy and my husband will do anything. And he's just so funny. And so uh, it, it took five days for them to film. I had one little cameo piece in it, which I loved. I, I don't like doing video. So okay. um, it, you know, it's just not, not my thing, I guess. Uh, I, I'm just more high anxiety and it's harder for me to loosen up and be natural on film. So I was glad that he did most of the hard work. What are you working on now? Because this time this year, it seems to be an opportunity for all of us to kind of like push a reset button and try new things and do new things. I've, Have you tried new things? I've had that button, yeah. We, uh, we actually created a full Christmas album that came out this past Friday called Christmas Memories. It's got 10 songs on it, five original, five covers. And we made it, it's just a fun song that you can just dance with and um, just lose yourself in. And it makes, it brings joy. So that came out. And we also, I'm working on a fourth regular album that's gonna come out in February of next year. Are you excited? It's fun to work, I right? Am. Yeah, it's, it's so much fun to see how these songs come about and where the heart is in them and, and we just had, we had a blast this year. Now we bit off a little bit too much than we can chew. I've never done two albums in less than a year together, but I'm so glad I did it. I'm, I'm glad I used that, that time wisely. And for all the vocalists at home that are watching us, uh, do you have a secret to making sure that your pipes stay nice and, you know, is it lemon juice? Is it honey? How do you work your instrument? You know, What's I your love, secret to success? I love to drink warm tea with honey and lemon and that's usually what I do a lot if I get really bad it's it's throat coat which you're not supposed to do very often but one trick whenever you're in the studio or out on tour and you've sang way too much and your voice is kind of hoarse if you if you eat a bag of Lay's potato chips just eat the Lay's potato chips the salt actually gets into the vocal cords yeah. and that is the coolest trick that I have found along the way I appreciate you sharing that with me. I eat the baked lays, so I don't know if both would work, but why not try? I'm, the next time ah, I have to try. perform something. It's the salt, anything really salty. And lays, regular potato chips are usually full of salt. Not good for you, but good for your vocal cords, I guess. Good for you. 
uh, and tastes delicious. Always, uh, everything in moderation, but I, I agree with you. That's kind of cool. And then one other question, what is your go-to karaoke song? You know, I sing a lot of Journey, believe it or not. Like, okay. just Steve Perry ha happens to be in my soprano key. So, you know, Don't Stop Believing and uh -huh. uh, Guns N' Roses, too. Um, I've, I've sang a few karaoke with Guns N' Roses. I'm an 80s kid, so you can Me tell too. with the hair bands, yeah, that that's my go-tos. <laughs> Me too. And you know what? In Dallas, they always think about the big hair, right? Yeah. Uh, and cowboy <laughs> boots, cowgirl boots. Uh, do you have a, you know... Tony Lama boot and a Stetson hat or anything fun that That's says country? Funny. I do have a Stetson hat. I don't have you do? boots. You know, when when you think of cowboys here in Texas, they all think that we look like that, right? Fort you Worth, don't. Houston, yes, but not Dallas. Dallas is very fast paced and fashion and has nothing to do with cowboy boots. Like you got to gotcha. bring them out on a special occasion. <laughs> Well, if you ever come uh, up here to New York, maybe we could do some two-stepping. We could uh, do some dancing, and then we could put on some boots. But thank yes. you, Natasha, for joining us, and Merry Christmas to you and Merry to Christmas. everyone you know. You guys, too. Hope you have a great New Year. Thank you so much. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye. So what if it's summer? I've got lights up on my porch. Mistletoe still in the doorway on July the 4th. You might pull.